cool. My stream's already dropping frames. Neat, 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 neat. That seems to be a very consistent thing now. Because Wi-Fi is garbage. Let me check to make sure the audio isn't totally effed right from the beginning. Okay, yeah, it's coming through. For once, it pulls through. That's cool. So last time I started the game, I got two dungeons in and I stopped. Um, between then and now, I kind of... I didn't play, but I did grind rupees for a bit, so I have quite a few. I'm on my way to get that bow and arrow as soon as possible. Um, I dug up some seashells that I wasn't gonna... that I probably wouldn't have found otherwise. I just kind of passed by areas, and I was like, oh, let's dig here. So I got a couple of them, if you want to see them. Uh, where are they? Yeah. I got a couple on the uh, field that I hadn't gotten previously. I also activated, I think, one warp point. And, um, I also, uh, hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Warp points don't actually show up on here? Anyway, I unlocked one warp point, and I think I opened that chest that was here. Where is it? Right here. That was near the, uh, rock. Because I just wanted rupees, and I knew there were rupees in there. Uh, and I, I uncovered a bit more of the map because I, uh, I was fucking around. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I haven't made any actual progress, so... We're gonna do that now. Uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna get that fucking Yoshi doll because I'm gonna need it for the next uh, sequence of events. Yeah. So this frustrated me greatly last time I played it. Turns out, um, you just need to get good. That's really all there is to it. There's no secret but to get better. Or get lucky, because sometimes the physics in this are ass. Maybe. Perhaps. Unless. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Yeah! I love how it has like a metallic clank. So like, does Link eat those to get hearts? Like, how does that work? Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, come on! Wow, this doll is a fucking piece of shit, let me tell you. Oh my god. I was gonna say, don't tell me I'm softlocked. Whatever. I got that purple rupee. My, my uh, investment is still paid off. I'm still in the green. You hear that? I made a little squeak. What a rare find! It's a four? No, it wasn't. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him now. Him, 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 him now? Cool. Now I believe some figures start showing up. Well, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Ooh, I'm turning down the mic. I'm getting peaks. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Yeah, there's a seashell and a, uh, a thingamajig now. Nah. 
So this seashell is apparently a huge pain in the ass to get. You would think the piece of heart would be the difficult one, but no, apparently it's the seashell. It vibrate. Bitch. Look how much trouble I had with this last stream, and now I'm just kind of blasting through it. Shit. Well, we got it closer at least. Oh, come on, man. Wait. Oh! Ooh. Grabbing all... You know, I grinded this for purple rupees before. You got a secret seashell. Put it to your ear to hear those whispered secrets. You got a chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you could display it. Off stream, I came in here a bunch and I uh, used the... Sh the Claw game to get a bunch of purple rupees. And I think that's why I'm getting so good at this. What's that in the corner? What's that up there? Yeah. Is that a tablet? I don't think I did that yet. No, my timing is way off. Ooh! Hey! Ooh. That doesn't look like a tablet, like a room tablet. What the fuck is that? Oh, it is a chamber stone. Why does it feel so strange? Yeah, it looks like we've uh, exhausted our resources on this right now. And I'm still in the I'm still in the red or in the green with rubies. something? It says Chow Chow. Place the Chow Chow figure? Yeah. Looks like the real thing. It requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. <laughs> Mysterious stones that give you an e eerie feeling. Maybe it's because I haven't been to the dungeon. I haven't been to Dompe yet. Yoshi doll that you wanted the trendy game. Oh yeah, I rebought some medicine off streams too. Turns out Crazy Tracy charges you more if you have more damage. Uh? Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Uh? Oh, thank you. You're indeed a generous person. Ah, I'll give you this in return. You trade your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you could trade the ribbon for something else. Cool. So I got a, uh, right before I started the stream, I actually got a snake amiibo in the mail. And really, it's a really nice amiibo, too. Very well designed, very solid. Ha! Ah. I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be liquid, now, would you? 
but it is it is a really nice amiibo really I'm, I'm glad to have it i put it on my little display i'll probably do a figure training thing with it later is there a seashell in here yep i remember that from the game boy days Ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Lucky. Thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchange ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Yip, yip, yip. Oh, I don't have my thing plugged in. There we go. My phone was not plugged in, and that would have been bad. that you have? It's canned food! For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please! I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take that! Munch. <laughs> munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum! You gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. <laughs> Thank you again. That was yummy. <laughs> yeah, I opened the chest over here. And I also got a secret seashell down there. in here, I guess. Surely that won't play a role in something later, maybe. No, you don't give the bananas to, uh, to, um, Taryn. You give the bananas to someone else. The bananas. Now he's got bananas. I was hungry, something fierce, so I went to got ban- I went and got banana- blah, 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 got bananas at the beach. Link, if you want some, you should go and get some. Hello, Liberation. Uwu to you, too. I see you also speak the language of my people. Oh well, I've been noticed. <laughs> no. I am good, how are you? It's nice to see you. Or meet ya. Or whatever. 
Yeah, ow. I might do this. Uh, really they drop bombs. That's cool. That's cool. I am doing all right. Uh, wish I would have streamed some more the other day, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, I, I apologize if my stream is dropping a lot of frames. It seems to be consistent that I'm dropping exactly 6% of my stream. And I think there might be something to do with the internet. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island. I could tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? No one knows. But I want to help you, I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. Something about challenges, didn't read it. Though you're not dumb, once you finish arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's treasure in it for you. Is that a chamber stone you got there? I can make special chambers out of those. Bring them to me when you find them. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Link then describes every room he's been in in meticulous detail. You got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon and see what's inside. It's all rooms I've already been in. What are you here for? Arrange Amiibo. So yeah, you can't play this mode online, you can only save dungeons to an amiibo, which is like, really, kinda stupid. I started this one already, can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the nightmare layer. There's gotta be a stop along the way to the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you gotta connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Make chambers from the menu in the A, then slap them in the tiles on the left with A. A lot of times you want a chamber with a particular set of exits, I that's how I divided them up. You can flip through the list with L and R. So you have one... Two, or actually these are just sides, and then one, two, three. Oh, I don't have any. It's like they purposely make this set when you first do this, you have to use this room. Nightmare's key is always going to be in the last treasure chest you open. Any extra chests around the dungeon will have rupees and such in them. An exit in a chamber might turn into a locked door or shutter depending on which chamber you hook it up to. There are rules for which type of exit gets the right of way. You'll learn them pretty quickly as you go. Sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from blue to red like it should. When that happens, press Y and check to see what the deal is. There are unconnected exits, there are unconnected chambers. Okay. Are you a pro streamer? Do you see a lot of people here? <laughs> no. I wish I was, but I'm not creative or funny enough to do that. Linear, but whatever, we got it. Wait, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, this room's not properly aligned. It's not QPU aligned. Do 
These streams are pretty cozy. Uh, yeah, I guess. Actually, isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> there we go. When the entrance lights up green, your job's done. Press A in the entrance to go adventuring through your shiny new dungeon. While you're on your adventure in the chamber dungeon, I'll set you up with all the bombs and such you'll need. After it's over, though, you'll have whatever you had before. Cool. Thank you, I appreciate that. I am just... I've been streaming for a while, and I just never picked up, like, no one's... I'm not really that great, so no one's really picked up on my streams over time. Also, my timing, my schedule's very inconsistent. Usually I stream, like, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., or I'll stream, like, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, rather. Because my job has me, uh, working weird hours. This arrangement permanently must save your game with system screen. Okay. How do you uh, play these though? Swore there's a way to go in these without without having to exit the mat the uh, thing. What's your job if you don't mind me asking? Right now, uh, my day job is well night job because I work it at night. Is um I I work um, customer experience at a startup where we kind we have um we have a kiosk like a machine like a vending machine that's located throughout the U.S. I'm not going to specify which one it is, but uh, I run customer experience for that. So I'm kind of dealing with the customer directly from the call center. And uh, it's it, I'm not too happy with the job on it anymore, honestly. And the job is not very good. It was always meant to be a short-term thing, but I've been there almost a year now, and I'm just like, I, I gotta get out of there. But otherwise, I'm a voice actor. Uh, or I'm trying to be, at least. Not too su too successful with that just yet. The goal of an adventure in this dungeon is to get to the end and beat this nightmare. And try not to run out of hearts before you get there. If you want to quit before an adventure's over, over you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I really hope I do too, because I've been very frustrated with it. <laughs> It was one of those jobs where it starts out fine, and then they just kind of change things as you go along. And the more they changed it, the worse the job got. I don't really like talking about it too much, just because I don't want to shit talk the place I'm working at. And also, it's a downer. I don't want to get on the stream. Cool. A single rupee. Nah, it's no problem. I bring it up a lot myself, and I regret it when I do. So it's not it's not anyone's fault. So you have to open up every chest in the room, otherwise you don't get the boss key. I really wish I could figure out what's causing my stream to drop frames, though. That's kind of annoying, and it's been consistent the last two streams.
This does more damage. Well, I gotta do that over. I could see this mode getting very frustrating. Oh wait, I had to. And I wish I didn't uh, waste that on the first mission, but. The show. There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave. Yeah, you literally saw me die. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. More tablets! The rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus for me. You can keep them once the adventure's over. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want. Oh, I still have it though. That's good. Let's, uh, let's see what the next one is. Placing the basics. See those tiles that have treasure chests and locked door marks, or you put chambers that have stuff in them. You get keys to open locked doors out of treasure chests. Be sure to place enough chests to make it through. So I had to see an adventurer run out of keys. You'll always need an entrance and a nightmares layer. That's the basic rule of changing dumbin dumbins. Good dungeons. Some tiles have treasure chests or locked door marks. When you see those, you've got to put a chamber on it that has what it wants. minimal, but hey, we're gonna get it done quick. I do this past couple days. So after the last stream, I went to a rent fair. That was pretty fun. Finally, f almost finalized my Plague Doctor costume. this boss again. We're gonna get really sick of seeing him. Wow, why can't I get through this without dying? What is wrong with me?
ね。I think I've had enough of this. Stop giving me chamber things. Give me other stuff. Wait, is he already done, actually? Is that Was that all he had right now? See, so I like the idea of... Yeah, that's all That's all there is. I like the idea of... um Of the... Of actually putting the puzzles together. Because it's kind of cool to see what you could come up with, but actually playing through each one seems just like a slog. Anyway, Tentacle, it's going finally. The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. We have to go back. Mount Tamarind. Egg. Real egg hours. The game just like gives you a little tease, a little tease of the Tall Tall Heights music right there. Dampe Shack, bring me any weird stones you find. Like, I don't expect to get anything out of that. Alright, so that's another thing that I pointed out in the last stream that I'm not too happy with. If you get knocked back into like a screen transition, you actually get forced through it. That is not something that the original uh, Link's Awakening did. Oh, what a weird object. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. See, I never, I never thought these things were squishy. I always thought that they were like crystals in the original game. But apparently, they're just like bouncy rubber. I still, to this day, can't remember where to get into there. I think there's a wall you blow up somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. Wait a minute. No. I think we'd know. I think they point out the cracked walls in this game pretty well, so I'd probably know. It's probably over to the left, like down there. This 
very nice. It's like a warm blanket. Mainly because I've played the original so many times. When I was a kid, I think this was the only game that I had played that I'd beaten from someone, like I borrowed it from someone else, beaten it, and then had got my own copy of it. This is definitely like my, if it's not my favorite Game Boy, Game Boy Color game, it's in the top two. I think tied with uh, Gen 2 Pokemon as like my favorite Game Boy game. I've played this game countless times. Well, countless for me. I've played it on the uh, 3DS as well. Not the Oracle games, though. The Oracle games I've only played once, and I played through it on the 3DS when they came out in the eShop. that was going to happen, but I wanted to see what happens anyway. I've got those flippers yet. But yeah, like, I kind of, I, I haven't really brought it up much, but like, this is kind of like, and I guess because I haven't really felt that way yet, because I just haven't had a lot of time to put into it, but this game is kind of a big deal for me. This was like my favorite one, like, if... Yeah, it's like one of my favorite Game Boy games, so... But I mean, I'm sure... You know why? It's because it's an experience that's not unique to me. I'm pretty sure most people who've played this game on the Game Boy are like, Yeah, this is like the best Game Boy game. Huh? A keyhole here? It says Angler Keyhole. Fighting that out. Frick. Wow, that frame dropping is kind of, uh, both on my end and both on the game's end. Kind of not good. Uh, what should I do? Where should I go? I have to go to the prairie. I'm in the, I'm in the wrong area. Completely. Shit. Well, there goes my actual, uh, medicine. I have to pay for more. Cool. Water, all the way down there. Uh, let's go back to Dampy Shack. Yeah, so what happened was, I remember, I, I, had not, I had no clue what Zelda was for a long time. I remember reading about Link in, like, Nintendo Power, and I was just like, I'm not into high fantasy shit. It seems very boring to me. But then my friend let me try uh, Link's Awakening DX on, like, an original Game Boy. I played it, I loved it. So much so that I beat it on my original Game Boy, which sucks because I couldn't do the color dungeon. And then when I got a Game Boy Color, I actually went to, like, Circuit City with my family, and they got me a copy of Link's Awakening DX. And I'm pretty sure I played that game at least two to three times on my own on that cartridge. And then again on the 3DS, and then again for my friend's copy. So I've played this game, like, five or six times, which isn't a lot by a lot of other people's standards, but it's definitely a lot for me. That's a warp point two, technically, but you can only warp two it, I think. Kind of a pointless warp point, since there's another one, like, right down here.
Huh? A keyhole here? It's a slime keyhole. That's my favorite type of keyhole. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind when I fled in the ca when I fled the castle. Excuse me. Hmm. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves and I want them all. Okay, you need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck! I'm not afraid, I just decided to wait at home. So this character is from uh, the game that preceded Link's Awakening, that uses the same engine, which I've actually streamed before. Uh, Kaira no Tame something or other. It translates to one to, for the frog, the belt tolls or whatever. Or something, I don't know. I played it, it was fun. Hot hole field. Neat. Richard's villa. Candlelit castle. Ten minutes. Heart piece. Now, I used to think you needed uh, the Pegasus boots to destroy this. You could just blow it up with a bomb, apparently. Nice. Another seashell. You caught a fairy in the bottle. Set it free anytime you want to be healed. Just capture your daughter. What up? Set it free and it will heal you. So apparently um, they don't auto-revive you in this game. You have to manually use them. Which is fine, because in hero mode it's really the only way to heal. Oh, okay, I need to take this boots for this. Ow! I gotta keep those bombs out, actually. I have plenty of them. Ah, it's Orira! You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. Bye! That wasn't a very good old man voice. That was way too high pitched. Come <laughs> on. 
I... There's a heart piece down there. I see it. Candlelight Castle, 50 paces. Do you really need a sign for that when it's like literally right there? I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone, one who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Oh, they're not even subtle about it, huh? Sounds like you should come back with lots of seashells and try standing on the platform. Well, let's try standing on it now. Maybe I'll get something. Who knows? I don't care, maybe. I don't know. Mm, liquid noises. I got one sh I got one reward. Cool! Yeah! I'm totally all about that. One more and I'll get the next one. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. If you see a weird bowl all by itself in the middle of a cave, sprinkle some magic powder into it. It's a pretty good joke on the thing that lives in there. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. Use your sword to poke at dungeon walls. If you hear a hollow clank, you could break the wall with a bomb. So more point. Ooh, wait, is that enough to get the uh Is that enough to get the next one? I'm pretty sure one of the rewards from the seashell mansion was like a seashell itself. Actually, wait, isn't there one like right in front of one of these trees? Oh, cool. And actually stays there. Hmm. No response. You must not have enough shells. Looks like I'm a one short of getting another prize. Cloud. Oink, 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 oink. Monkey business done. Bye bye. Oh, Kiki. You found a stick a monkey left behind. You take it. Still exploring a little bit first though. Animal Village, Martha's Bay. <laughs> this piece of 
heart in there. So I probably can't get it because I'll drown. Yep. No, I guess not. that Zoras were bad guys in the older Zelda game. Like, they're never portrayed that way anymore. Untitled Goose Game. Oh man, I want to play more of that too. happens. You always get one than the other. This is going to do like a heart piece, I think. No, it just leads up here. Around here, secrets are nigh. I found the secret. Doesn't nigh mean there's like more than one though? They're plentiful. For some reason, you can't shovel flowers, like spots with flowers or rocks in this game. And the other one, I remember rocks you couldn't, but flowers you could. able to get rid of, but I don't think you can. I think those are permanent fixtures. Hell yeah. Let us see show. My bread and butter. Might be possible to cheese this out, I'm not sure. Let me see. This is very risky though. Huh. 
Oh, this doesn't go off until it's about to blow up, huh? Yeah, nah, you can't cheese it. Not in this version. Found the five golden leaves? Go scare that crow by the castle and see if it helps. Bye. Well, that's a good hint, I guess. Another warp point. I got the seashell mansion once I'm done down here. Oh, never mind. I can't go any further. I think that just leads right to the beach anyway. Prize, baby. You got the seashell sensor. This will let you know when there's a seashell close by. Oh, neat. So it's like the uh, shrine thing. Can be turned off with A. Oh, cool. Reacts to nearby secret seashells. Good to have. Hanalet <laughs> Castle. Hanalet Castle? Mm, those items. Found the five golden leaves? Well, someone stole them to begin with. I bet the boss trooper in the castle still has one. Bye! How many seashells do I have? Oh, nice. 17. Oh god, I was trying to play it like Mario for a second and I got messed up. I do like how there's a bit of a parry system to this game. It's also very simplistic. It's just shield and attack, but it's still pretty cool. A golden leaf. Got him. As much as I don't like hurting birds, I got him. Ass. Wait a minute, 
do I do now? I got two of them. Oh, I can go into the front door. I'm an idiot. I used to love this. I don't know why. I used to love this mini dungeon, though. There's something about it. Also kind of shit because it made me fall when I could have avoided damage. I'll let him come to you, not the other way around. Sounded like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Exactly, is this the castle? Like, are you the, the ruler of Kaholan? If you're in this castle, live in this castle. It kind of vaguely reminds me of the castle from Mother Three, because like that's just kind of a castle that's on an island in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that hurt me. Cool. Oh, that hurt me again. Cool. You've got the final golden leaf. Now go see Richard about that reward. Probably gonna die getting that heart piece anyway though, which is the funny part. But I need it, it'll give me another heart. Ah, oh, très bien! I see you have recovered all the leaves! Now, move this statue and you will find your reward! I am forever in your debt for getting my leaves back. Weirdo. Oh, 
Oh, the thing went off, so there's a seashell there. That's cool. I need quite a few before I get the next reward. Careful, because there's like, yeah, there's holes everywhere here. Maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been filled too. In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. You got the slime key. Now you can open the gate in Ukuku Prairie. Key Prairie. Ah! Hide another secret in here or something, but nah. Taking the shortcut back by lifting that rock. I'm an idiot. Wow. God, this, oh, this game is so fun. <laughs> much all I could do for now except go ahead. Alright, dungeon three. Key cavern. I like what they did with this music. I love that sound effect. Nope. Wow, they made it impossible to cheese that out.
red slime over there to get everything. Oh, you can't push those. Giving bombs for a reason here. These bombs have some pretty beefy, uh, pretty beefy ex uh, explosion ranges. I've gotten all four of them at least. I should probably go back up and do the stuff that I need to hit that switch for first. the beak. Neat. Too bad.
No point to that. At all. See that cracked, but it's there. Oh, I went, you know why? I cheaped it out. Poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword and listen to the sounds it makes. Old Dodongos. Far away, do not fear. Dash and fly. that fairy. Feed the black monsters with a hard shell. Feed them something explosive. Groups. <laughs> cool. Getting close to that bow and arrow.
Rock is a keyhole. Should come back with a key. Wad. Oh, cool. Oh, that's that's neat. What? Oh, cool. You, you know what? Just take me. Just take me, bro. from people online. How about that? Also, thank you for the follow, Liberation. I appreciate it. And that somehow says you're offline. I don't know why. boy. everything but the key. anything else because you just get sent back to the beginning and then have to work your way all the way back there. It's very frustrating. Open. 
shiny key. I did that, I still need another one. <laughs> seem to be a bit more inclined to like gulp them up with how they move. In the uh, original they kind of moved around constantly and it was just kind of random whether or not they would they would bite into one. <laughs> you got the Pegasus boots. If you hold L you can dash. Try going for a long jump. Pop like balloons. <laughs> you got the nightmare key. There's still two keys on the first floor I need to get. chest over there. Alright, the fact that this doesn't persist between rooms is kind of weird, especially since, you know, the overworld has no scene transitions. They could have made it so that you could just do it constantly in the dungeon. me out shit or not max me out but it got me close Establish very quickly that you need that uh that running jump in this game.
Ow, come on. Oh yeah, you can't you can't cheese out the uh the sword anymore. You can't go through corners. Wait a minute, what? Hold on a second. I did everything in here. There's just an extra key for some reason. I think it was like that in the original game, though. I mean, this is the key cavern, so... Neener, neener, you can't find me! <laughs> Slime eye. Slim eye. I like the reflection. Such a that ah oh, fucking piece of shit. I knew that was gonna happen too. I'm like, oh wait. The second I get stunned, the other one's just gonna fall right on top of me. Clever. Let's see if I can go for the pro strats here. Nope. Ah, did it! I don't know who it was that I saw playing this online. That clip has been going around of him, like, doing that, though. And his reaction is really good. Isn't very uh, lean with that hitbox, huh? Nine hearts. See Lily's bell. Waterfall. 
It is hidden in the waterfall. Oh man, now that I got the Pegasus boots, I could get all sorts of shit. Oot, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot! Oop. This game is a hoot. Well, that didn't work. There's a secret seashell over there, too. Right, forgot about ramming into trees. I'm gonna be doing a lot of that now, too. Caves too with the crystal. Shit, man. There's a lot of stuff I gotta look for. Give the stick to whoever needs that too. But first, I'm gonna do this area. that, but okay. Silver rupee. 100 rupees, you're happy. Well, some of that went to- Oh, you could carry more than 900! I was like, oh, well, some of that's going to waste. Nope. You just get- You just get to carry as many as you fucking want, huh? You got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. Small instrument that plays a haunting tone. Yeah, that's haunting, all right. Well, it's an ocarina, but you don't know how to play it. <laughs> hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? How do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind.
by this finally. Bow and arrow set, only 980 rupees. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and come again. Attack far off enemies while keeping your distance. Nice. Put on a burst of speed with L, you can jump farther too. A stick left over, look, left over after the monkeys built a bridge. Reward from Richard for finding his precious leaves. A bell that sounds a refreshing tone. How many arrows do I have? 20. I know I saw arrows. Cool. 10 rupees. Can I still- can you still do the trick? Wait a minute. You can! Oh. Hidden Power of Color. Do you want to read this book? There's a new world of color under the five gravestones. Three up, four right, five up, two left, one down. Try with all your might and you may open a new path. Are you worthy to receive the power of color? What's this world of color about? Maybe you should try it and see. Almost half of them. see past the seam on the edge of the, le the level there. Oh, this house is nice now. The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody's used this thing in a while. Maps? Can I look at those? No. Probably 
in there, down there, but I can't get over there yet. Oh, well, that was pointless. It leads nowhere. is do I want to I'm kind of like I don't have much t too much time left today so I'm probably just gonna search out shit over here I haven't found yet suss it out oh that's kind of annoying Let's not have enough shells. So you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? That's what a grown man would do, all right. The stick became the honeycomb. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. Green rupee. Green rupee? What am I saying? Purple rupee. Wow. What the fuck is wrong with me?
like, uh, down in that cave to the heart piece, but I can't get it yet. Or maybe I can get it, I'm not sure. I don't know if I have this, the... I do? Cool. Sure, you'd have to get the hook shot to get that. And that's the same tunnel that's down there, I believe, so there's no point going right here. This shit. <laughs> I don't believe we could do that cave in the mysterious forest because that requires the hook shot. Those gaps are way too big. Yeah, you definitely need the hook shot to get that, that heart piece though. Yeah, we're not we're not getting over there. Drop dog. But he's always welcome. Look, look, they've been doing a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, tell me about the dungeon you just went to. Uh. That, that's quite the tale. Oh? Cool. Uh. So that's how this works. A passage across. Unplaceable tile. You can't place chambers on those light gray tiles to the upper right. The only way to reach those tiles is with the chambers that have stairs. That's what this challenge is about. You'll learn how to use stairs to cross long distances, or you'll fail. One of the two. Makes this really easy. I say as I die many, many times over. 
One chamber with stairs isn't enough. You should put up a second stair too. That way they'll link up. Press Y to check how your stairs connect together. There are unconnected exits. There are fewer chests than locked doors. Uh, wait, what? There are cha uh, designated tiles without their chambers placed on them. Oh, okay. There. Checks out. Store dungeon, receive dungeon, get special chamber. Let's get a special chamber. Let's put my, uh, let me get it up for a sec. Let's see what happens if I put a non Zelda amiibo here. Uh. Oh, it's not on the stick on this. This amiibo is not supported. Okay. I tried my new snake and you which I absolutely love. Alright, let's pull out the, uh, the one that I obviously have, the Rivali Plus. No, not don't store a dungeon. Damn it. My Rivali Amiibo Plus, as I call it, because it has uh, Sean's, Sean Chiplock's uh, autograph on it. I would love to get my Snake Amiibo signed by David Hayter. That would be fucking awesome. I would also love to get my DDD Amiibo signed by uh, Masahiro Sakurai, but that will never happen. The Great Fairy's Chamber. Hmm. What are you here for? Oh, more adventure. So does this randomly pick? Yeah, it just does. I guess it's... I guess the underground passage is connected to whichever uh, room you place down. Seen enough of this guy yet? So spin attacks do do more damage. You kill it in two with a spin attack. chamber. Oh? oh boy, a new challenge. Uh. This is nice because these challenges take up like a small amount of time, so I could just kind of do this when I don't, when I'm running short. Wait, key hunter? Fill up your hearts. It's up to you what chambers to use, just make sure you fill every single tile in the shape of a cha heart-shaped chamber. Mind how you go connecting the exits and stairs now. Ooh, I like this one. So what's the new chamber I got? Oh, it's just a Moldorn chamber in the middle of a... in the middle of a room. So, like, you could just put another boss in there. Here's an amiibo chamber.
mini boss right there. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Got this. I just need a uh, left exit chamber. Not enough chests before locked doors. Wait, what? Aw, oh, man. Oh, this first door is locked. Wait, what? Oh, the door underneath is locked, that's why. I mean, I could... Wait, I could swap... Where, where, I have one in there already like that. Where is it? It's that room. Can I just swap this with this? Yep, there we go. I can see it getting frustrating with the bigger challenges, because later challenges require you to fill up, like, the entire room. And that does sound frustrating as hell. Also, this music isn't really that cool, like... That hearing this music in longer dungeons would be like torture, honestly. It's not that great. to a locked door. What? Uh... Oh, wow. So you could just soft lock. Fuck. That sucks. That's kind of weird. I'm not too big a fan of that. Like, if you go the wrong way, you just have to do a whole dungeon over again. I mean, it's kind of like a nice advanced puzzle, because I guess it forces you to look at the map beforehand, but it's also kind of like, ooh. If you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna have trouble with this real quick. Thank you. 
The other problem is that the, game, the map here doesn't show you where the locked doors are until you've already gone into the room. So that's kind of weird. I feel like it runs a little counterintuitive to how the dungeon maker is supposed to work. I see, so chests always give you keys first, then they gradually give you more and more rupees, and then the last one is always the, uh, boss key. Uh, I guess they don't gradually give you more and more rupees. They give you a paltry amount of rupees. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's the boss key? Oh, there's a door down. <laughs> Secret seashell, nice. And a piece of heart! Ooh! Very cool. You got a knack for this stuff. I mentioned to see how you'd handle arranging a dungeon from the ground up. I'm thinking I'll throw together a thing where you can arrange a dungeon however you want. What are you here for? Alright, so then there's just a free, free dungeon. I got the second thing filled. I've heard that doing like the final level of this is just completely pointless and awful and terrible. You just get a lot of rupees for doing it, which is cool if you haven't bought everything you need, but whatever. Anyway, uh, even though I got a few minutes left, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna stop here just because I want to get ready for work and I've got stuff I want to check before I head out. 
So, yeah, thank you for coming. I had a lot of fun today. This game is, like, really goddamn good. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I'll probably stream tomorrow if I can. I don't know yet. It's been kind of weird and, like, random when I can stream. If I could stream tomorrow, uh, it'll either be more of this or I'll do Untitled Goose Game. And then if there's time after that, because I think I might be almost done with it, I might move on back onto Sword of Mana again. And then just alternate between that and Link's Awakening. That said, I don't want to stop playing Link's Awakening. Damn. But whatever. Uh, thanks for coming. You all have a great afternoon. Thanks for following if you did. And I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves and your friends and have a great day.